Welcome to Hydrology Hub for the comprehensive lecture on dam break flood modeling using HECRAS. In this session, we will explore how catastrophic failure of dams can be simulated, analyzed, and understood using the powerful capabilities of the HECRAS software. Whether you are a student, researcher, consultant, or engineer involved in dam safety and flood risk management, this lecture will provide a practical guide to understanding and applying dam break model effectively. Now we will start dam break or dam breach analysis. First of all, I have opened the HECRAS window. I will create a new project. Go to the file. Click on the new project. So here I can create a new directory or the new folder. Okay. So here you click on the create folder give the name okay so where you want to save the file first of all you just see so i want to save the file at in d drive in dam break so i'll create a folder there so here dba dam break analysis one i have given name as dba1 okay so that dba1 folder has been created so in this folder I'll create a project called DBA and then click OK. So this way the DBA project has been created. So I'll click OK here. So here you can see the DBA project name is in the DBA one directory. Now the next step is once I have created the project, I'll I have to see the whether my unit system is correct or not. I'll go to the options, click on the unit system, and I'll see that my unit system is the metric system. Okay. So if you are working in the USA, you can take the US customary system. So here I am taking the metric system. Click OK. Now the next step is that I have to click on the RAS mapper and I have to upload the text. First of all, I will go to the project, set projection and then I will select where is my data is kept. So my data is kept here. I will take the projection system of my DM. So this is the DAM projection system. I will apply that projection system and say the OK button. Then I will go to terrain. In the terrain, I will right click and I will say the create new RAS terrain and click on the plus sign and then again select the your dam data. So this dam data you can download from any of the websites. Okay. Carto set or the Fab DM. Okay. Already I have given the tutorial for downloading the dam and mosaicing the dam. So end it here. I will open this one. Then click on the create. So now it is creating the dam. So these dam first you can find out where is your area of interest. Where is your dam is there. You can find out that area and then from any of the website I, either from the FabDM or other dam, you can download the dam. Okay. So this close. So this dam is now open in the HECRAS. Now the next step is that when the dam is there, I have to create the geometry. Okay. So I'll go to the geometry, click on the right mouse. Okay. And create new geometry. I am giving the name of the geometry as new geometry. OK. Close this one. So now I will go to the edit geometry. So here in the edit geometry, I will give the storage area, my reservoir storage area. I will import the feature. Already I have prepared the feature for the reservoir area. I will import that those features from my data file. So here you go to the data file, 
तो ये ये स्टोरेज एरिया फीचर आई एम इम्पोर्टिंग इम्पोर्ट तो इट हैज़ बीन इम्पोर्टेड दैट इज़ माई स्टोरेज एरिया सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट आई हैव टू इम्पोर्ट द टू डी फ्लो एरिया पेरीमीटर तो अगेन राइट क्लिक देयर एंड इम्पोर्ट फीचर्स ओके तो दिस वे आई एल इम्पोर्ट द फीचर माई डेटा इज हेयर सो हेयर फ्लो एरिया शेप फाइल इज देयर आई एल इम्पोर्ट सो नाउ दिस इज माई फ्लो एरिया शेप फाइल वी आर द प्रोबेबल फ्लडिंग मे बी देयर इन द डाउन स्ट्रीम साइड ओके सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज आई एल गो टू द एस ए टू डी कनेक्शन ओके सो इस इन एस ए टू डी कनेक्शन राइट क्लिक ओवर देयर एंड देन इम्पोर्ट फीचर्स सो आई एल इम्पोर्ट द एस ए टू डी कनेक्शन सो दैट इज एस ए टू डी कनेक्शन इज देयर डैम शेप फाइल इज देयर सो द डैम शेप फाइल आई एम इम्पोर्टिंग सो दिस इज द डैम शेप फाइल आई हैव इम्पोर्टेड ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज दैट बाउंड्री कंडीशन आई हैव टू इम्पोर्ट बाउंड्री कंडीशन राइट क्लिक ओवर देयर इन द बाउंड्री कंडीशन इम्पोर्ट लेयर इम्पोर्ट फीचर्स ओके नाउ अगेन गो देयर इन योर डेटा सेट्स एंड योर बाउंड्री कंडीशन शेप फाइल इज देयर आई एम इम्पोर्टिंग सो नाउ यू कैन सी दैट बाउंड्री कंडीशन फाइल इज देयर आई एल स्टॉप हेयर एडिटिंग so this way it has been created so now you can zoom and see that this is your parameter file is there then your you can see that your boundary condition is there your 2d connection or the dam shape is there and this is the your area or the storage area okay so this is your storage area So all the geometrical data you have created. Now next is that I'll create a file for defining the Manning's roughness coefficient. Okay, so I'll create a land use file. So I'll go to the map layer here, create a new grass layer that is the land cover layer. I'll create. Okay, click on the plus sign and I'll take the my land use layer so here my land use layer is there i'll take that one land cover layer okay and create so it is creating the land cover of the region and as per the land cover i'll define the manning's roughness coefficient for different land covers close this one close okay so here you can see your land cover map if you want to see so this is the land cover map is there and if you want to see the terrain map you can see the terrain map and if you see the geometry data you can see the geometry data what you have created okay so this way your all the data are there now in the land cover map right click and then you can edit the land cover data table okay so here you can define the manning's roughness coefficient so first of all i'll see where my data is there i'll go there in my d drive data is there i'll select my data so data is kept in one excel file i'll open that excel file so here is my data so i'll select here land cover and then these manning roughness values i am selecting control c and then after this i'll copy all these manning roughness coefficient over there control v okay right that i have saved now you can save this data so the raster map data we have saved i'll close this window 
ओके एंड आई ओपन द जोमेट्रिक डेटा जस्ट क्लिक ओवर देयर ओके यू कैन सी हियर यू कैन सेलेक्ट दिस डेटा ओके टैलेंट डेटा इज देयर एंड देन आई गो टू द फाइल ओपन जोमेट्री डेटा सो दिस इज माई न्यू जोमेट्री वाट आई है सेव फ्रॉम द रास्ट मैपर आई ओपन दैट वन सो दिस इज द जोमेट्री इज ओपन हियर यू ओपन द स्टोरेज एरिया in this storage area i'll replace this storage area from the hydrographic survey of storage area so this is my elevation capacity table i'll replace this one okay i'll go over there and replace the data and you can see that data is replaced click okay now the next is that we have replaced the storage area i'll go to the 2d flow area in the 2d flow area i will generate the mesh generate mesh i'll give here 100 by 100 meter mesh okay okay and i'll click on the force mesh generate so it will recompute the mesh okay So next, I'll go to the S two D connection. So here, first of all, what I'll do, I'll create a embankment or the dam. Okay. So here in my Excel file, I've given the weir data. So this is the data I've given. So the dam height is two sixty seven point nine two. I'll give these values. Okay, and here it is nine point one six, nine point one six, and here one point six seven. Okay. The next step is I'll give the bridge plan data. Right, so it is showing the bridge. So you have to remember that you have to click the radio button of the bridge. This is structure. Then next is that. I'll provide the breach parameter. So here is the parameter calculator. I'll I have provided all the data like the top of the dam from the Excel file. Breach parameter data I am providing here. Everything elevation capacity table is there. Then breach parameters are there. So I have provided all the center lines, etc. Okay. Once this data is has been given, you just see over there. Okay. I select this one. The next step is that. I'll go to the. I'll close this one. I'll go to the here and provide the boundary conditions. So first, I'll provide the at the upstream boundary condition as the flow hydrograph from Excel. I'll take the unsteady state flow data. That is the flow hydrograph I am entering. So here, first of all, I'll take the date as first September. Okay, zero zero hours, and I'll copy my hydrograph data. So it is start on first September and ends on second September, sixteen hours. Okay, you can see the plot of the hydrograph. Okay, then next is my downstream boundary condition. I'll select as normal depth, and again in my Excel, I mentioned that its friction slope is zero point zero zero two. I'll 
सेलेक्ट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू ओके देन आई आई टू प्रोवाइड द इनिशियल कंडीशन ऑल्सो आई प्रोवाइड इनिशियल कंडीशन इनिशियल कंडीशन ऑफ द डैम आई ऑल्सो गिवेन इट्स टू सिक्सटी एट मीटर आई प्रोवाइड टू सिक्सटी एट मीटर ओके सेल्प कीप इट फिक्स एड ड्यूरिंग द वार्म अप ओके अप्लाई डेटा क्लोज दिस वन नाउ आई गो टू द रन विंडो दिस विंडो सो नाउ आई सेलेक्ट ऑल दीज फोर रेडियो बटन्स आई गिव द स्टार्टिंग डेट एज फर्स्ट सेप्टेम्बर टू एंड स्टार्टिंग टाइम जीरो जीरो आवर्स एंडिंग डेट सेकेंड सेप्टेम्बर टू and ending time 16 hours this you can verify from the hydrograph what you have provided okay and the computation interval i am giving 1 minute and here hydrograph output interval 1 hour mapping output 1 hour and the detailed output interval as 1 hour then i'll click on the compute button so it will start computing so computation is being started now your simulation is finished close this one i'll go to the ras mapper to see the results so here in this ras mapper you have seen that one icon has come as a results just expand this one so i am going to the depth and i can see what is the depth of the flow so you can see here okay all the simulation you can just animate this one okay and you can change it the animation rate you can change close this one and i'll just run the animation you can see how the flood water is going from the dam to the downstream side okay this way you can see the depth similarly you can see the water surface elevation also okay click over here and you can see your water surface elevation also okay so these are the dam break results you have successfully run the model and you can see the velocity also so this is a velocity so all everything you can see if you found this useful please like the video subscribe to the hydrology hub channel and share with the others for more tutorials on the hackras flood modeling and gis integration stay tuned